Miss Bowie, you are an Uber driver for a living. Is that what you do? Yes. And you needed a car. The car that you were driving evidently wasn't working anymore. You knew the defendant. He buys and sells cars. You found a car that you were satisfied with, and you made a deal to buy it. So far as those the bare bones of this case? Bare minimum. Well, that's what it is. You found yes. a car he was selling. You made a price. The price was? For the car? Yes. 5500 And how much did you put down? 1500 And he gave you the car? Yes. And you were supposed to make payments to him? I did make payments. And how many payments did you make? Three. In what amounts? A hundred. So you paid him an extra three hundred, eighteen hundred dollars. And while you had the use of this car, which was from when to when? May 12th, 2018, until, um... I still have the car in possession, but I don't use the car because the car is out of... It's, it's the limit car. It doesn't work. The transmission is... Just... You took possession of the car on May 12th? Yes. And the car is still with you? Is I the car still the in car. your possession? Yes, but I don't... I don't use the car. I don't care whether you use it or not. It's still in your possession. Yes. And you want your money back? Yes. You don't get that. Okay, so I met Matar... <laughs> Listen to me. Okay. You have a contract? Do you have a contract no, for sale? No, so here's the, here's the thing. Here's no, the no, danger. not here's the thing. Do you have a written contract with him? Yes. Is my question. Either yes, yes or no. Can yes. I see it? What year car is this, sir? 2012. What kind of car? Uh, Ford Fiesta. I was forced to sign that. We had a verbal agreement. You don't have a verbal agreement when you have a signed contract. <laughs> no, that's... Well, I'm telling you what the law is. I want to tell you what the law is. When you have a signed contract, you don't have a verbal agreement. It states what the property is. It states what the sale price is. It states what the payments are. Do you understand? It states the entire terms of the contract. The seller notifies the buyer, and the buyer acknowledges that the vehicle is being sold as is, without any warranty of any kind regarding the condition of the vehicle. That's what it says. That's your contract. That's the I'm law. I'm very aware of that. Good. But, however, when I met Mr. Mektar Diop, which was in late January 2018. I knew he sold cars. I was desperately in need for a car for Uber. Ms. Bowie, I, 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 I got I don't a car care. for him. Listen to me. I got a car. I, I don't and care. He, I don't he care. He totally was like very manipulative with the situation. Good. Like, I don't he, care. He like made the situation. I have other seem things. Like, I have other things I to do. I understand, Judge. I, can you just please hear me out? Is it possible if I can just let you know my story? I'm telling you what. The, listen to me. I'm telling you what the law is. I need to, like, really let you know exactly what happened in the situation. It's very... It's, like, ridiculous. So, the situation is, when I met him, I knew he sold... When I met him, he told me he sold cars. I, I really needed a car to drive Uber. The agreement was, if I pay him every... If I, once I pay him for the car every week, that the repairs for the cars will be done. I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Who gonna for sell the, you? No, 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 no. I wouldn't Listen, have to worry. I'm giving her exactly two minutes, and then... I'm saying goodbye to her. <laughs> I needed the car from him so I could work for Uber. He knew that I was unemployed. The only way he was going to get paid is if the car was in working condition so I could work and use the car to work for Uber so I can pay him. I was unable to pay him because the car was not working. I left the car with him in the shop and I came back and it wasn't... It's, it was even worse than it was when I brought it to him. I took it to AutoZone. The catalyst converter was, was shot and that was a week after, eight days later, after May 12th. On May 20th, the car was was acting up already. I decided to go on with the situation because I was in desperate need of the car. Like, I have bills I have to, pay, I have to pay. And also, like, I really needed the car. So we made an agreement that the repairs will be fixed once I sign the paper that you are looking at, Judge. I start making the payments. I start calling him about everything that was wrong with the car, the engine, the transmission, the radiator, that, that still doesn't work. After Where they the, changed now, it... Now I've heard enough, because I have other things to do today. Where is the car? With her. Okay, now you have a counterclaim, and your counterclaim is for the balance due on the car. Yes. Which is $3,700. Yes. A judgment for the defendant on the counterclaim for $3,700. We're done. Are you serious? Why is that excused?